We may recall the sophomore entry of this program concerned Alexander Sokorov's 1988 ethereal malaise masterpiece Days of Eclipse. It has been some time, although now finally Sokorov returns to this program. Today I shall draw your attention toward Dolch, an hour-long documentary Sokorov released in 2000. A subtitle present in the film summarizes its intentions succinctly. Pages from the life of the family of the Japanese writer Toshio Shimao, 1917-1986. Specifically, we learn of the lives of Miho Shimao and her daughter, Maya. Dolch is truly one of the most evocatively existential films I have ever seen. Much of the film's frames are stuck upon Miho's exhausted soul, transparent across her aging face. In between the images of distant environments or a subject, Miho framed amongst an enrapturing view, this film's framing is very particular. It reminds me of a painting with specified borders rather than the illusory borders of a film cell surrounding its aesthetic trap. The images are so specific, powerful, and poignant. They are clearly so considered. It has me assuming that Sokhrov in advance sought to illustrate the most powerful invocations of distant memory, otherworldly space, elastic time, and ferocious, inescapable existential mortality. This film conjures the eerie place of memory, that which with age, it so seems, gradually comes to haunt one far more than the vast unknown of the coming future. I have acquired some fascinating notes which appear to have accompanied this film for a screening at a soccer of retrospective held at, from what I can gather, the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Dolch opens to a clinical biographical overview of writer and poet Toshio Shimao. Dolch. 1917-1986, as the narrator, Alexander Sokorov, thumbs through a family photo album describing Shimao's privileged life as the heir of an affluent merchant family before enlisting in the Japanese military as a kamikaze pilot during the Pacific War. Stationed on a remote southern island while awaiting orders to be deployed for his suicide mission, Shimao falls in love with a local young woman from a prominent samurai family named Miho, and, in a fortuitous twist of fate, is ordered to abandon his campaign as Japan moves closer towards conceding defeat. Toshio and Miho are just opposed to a life by settling in Kobe and starting a family-run business and of publishing Shimao's literary work. It is a seemingly content life until one day when Miho reads Toshio's diary and learns that he has a mistress, a devastating revelation that leads to the institutionalization of Miho and also Toshio, and perhaps may have subsequently contributed to a grave illness of their daughter, Maya, that resulted in a permanent disability. Attempting to recapture the purity of their relationship and rehabilitate their wounded spirit, Toshio relocates the family to Miho's home in the insular island of Amami Oshima, where the Shimao family has remained since. From this fascinating introductory framework, Sokorov creates a haunting, sensual, and contemplative portrait of the intimate and profoundly connected isolated lives of the late writer's surviving family on the remote island. Sokorov's effective incorporation of elusive sounds, the abrasion of hands against a rough textured wall, as Miho longingly reflects on the passing of her parents decades earlier, the creaking of wooden floors as Maya traverses the staircase, the matting of sisal, sisal rub, rug fibres under the weight of footsteps, the crashing of waves against the projecting rocks of the shoreline, the whispered chant of daily prayer, the gentle drops of water on a koi fish pond, create an understatedly powerful metaphor for the resilient aging widow's symbiotic, instinctual, and acutely evolved metaphysical communication with her austere environment. Magnificent. This is a beautiful film, among my favourites from the great genius Alexander Sokorov. I highly recommend the experience of Dolch.